welcome back, fellow Booze Brief viewers. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. Hopefully you know that by now, because yeah. this isn't the first video you've watched. And if you didn't know that, I also put it on the graphics underneath. Of yeah, Lucid, so, uh, yeah. yeah, so that way you, now you know how to spell my name. <laughs> hmm. It's pretty tough. <laughs> One T or two? It's tr I do not get walked upon. Huh. I have two Ts. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to drink some booze. Good. All right. See you later. All right. Uh, no, today we are, and I have not opened this. As you can tell, it's still got the big old donger on it. <laughs> yeah, it's got the wax wiener on it. <laughs> <laughs> A bottle of Pinhook Rye. This is the Hard Rye Guy 2021 crop. That's unfiltered, and they have a little QR code on the back that opens up their app. You have to download it, which I wasn't all that thrilled about. But the nice thing is the app then gives you the mash bill. No way. Yeah, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Why are, why are mash bills getting increasingly harder to find? I don't know if people are trying to make them proprietary or... So stupid. No, who cares? I don't. And if somebody's out there to get what you make yours out of, they're going to get it. Yeah. There's some really freaking smart scientists out there that can figure that stuff out yeah. real quick. And like I forget, I know on the... Uh, Blanton's and Eagle Rare video. I think we may have said they were the same mash bill, and people yeah, it's one and two. And people were kind enough to let us know that it is. They are different mash bills, but yeah, but they're not that different. El Chipo Corco. Oh, uh, womp 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 womp. But I like I like the label. I like that kind of mint green. Yeah, um, I like the the wax. I picked this up on my way back from the beach a few weeks ago. Was it right near the beach? Boy, <laughs> it was not. This was in some uh, podunk eastern North Carolina town. If you're from Podunk, Podunk, Eastern North Carolina. Or Bahama or... <laughs> yeah, we mean no Kanita. disrespect by that. Oh, yeah. So how's that, does that synthetic cork... They never fit well, do they? They don't. You, have, you, 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 gotta, you gotta cram it. Yeah. That's not good. Not, you can't just put it back in like a gentleman. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so this is 20% corn, 60 rye, 20% malted barley, comes in at 49% ABV. That smells good. So I've seen the pinhook stuff around. I've never had any of it. And I just saw this one. I was like, you know what? For, I think it was $37, $40, something like that. Really? Yeah. I just, in my mind, I always thought it was more expensive because people just mm. snatch them up. I like the smell on that. Yeah, so, it's got a good nose. According to their app, which is not formatted for iPad, get it together, pinhook. It even, but it's available from the Apple App yeah, Store. Yeah, but, Don't it's, you it, think but it still has the tiny screen in here for apps that aren't uh, formatted right. Come on. Anyway. You look like you're reading a book to us now. <coughs> <laughs> the 2021 vintage of Pinhook's flagship rye brims with aromas of apricot, cinnamon, and eucalyptus, followed by a rich palette of candied licorice, caramel, and orange peel. You ever had eucalyptus? No. Uh, maybe in a cough drop. But not, like, by itself. Like, hey, Matt, yeah, what you don't, you want to come over? I'm going to... Throw some, throw some burgers on the grill. Maybe before that, we can just nibble on some eucalyptus. Yeah, we're going to have chips and salsa, and then we're going to throw out some eucalyptus. We're okay. just going to yeah, yeah. munch on that. Oh, um, by the way, for dessert, I've got candied licorice. Ooh. I wouldn't come over to your house. No. But this smells really nice. Like it's that does smell It's really bright. Good. It's citrusy. Neck pour. New bottle neck pour. Right? So that... Mm. I, I like it. So let me go to another app here. Oh. This... It's the same description. <laughs> they they must have also downloaded the app. You're not going to like that, so I'm probably just going to need to take that mm. one with me. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. Right on mm -hmm. the tip of the tongue, a little bit of heat. What mm -hmm. the deuce was that? It's like a butterfly, but <laughs> yeah. it's also not. Like a lightning bug butterfly. Um, the other thing it said is this is aged for 34 months. Not 36? Nope. Can't do 36? Nope. Hmm. Rent Boy. run out in the in the rack house and you had to, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like, how's that happen? So we just had this guy. It couldn't be a more different bottle of whiskey. And that's great though. But this is really I mean it's it's light mm -hmm. in texture. The flavors are are light and bright. Yep. And I don't mean that as a criticism. No, I like that a lot. This I'm, I mean we're sitting outside on a eighty something degree day. It's beautiful. This is a really nice whiskey for this weather. Yeah. That would be. That'd be really good in an old fashioned. We were just talking about old fashioned. Yeah. I think that would be great in an old fashioned. Mm hmm. Mm. That way you could actually taste the bitters. Yeah. And uh, that I think orange. I mean, there's uh, there's a lot of citrus in that. A lot of orange in that. Because I know rye I rye was the standard for old fashioned, but I know it's switched to bourbon more lately. But I mean, use whatever the hell you want in your old fashioned. Exactly. 
Just don't use tequila. Because <laughs> that's not an old fashioned. No. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even know what that would be in Spanish. No bueno. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm. How many other pin hooks are there? Do you know? Uh, let's take a gander, shall we? Yeah, please. Okay. Let me go. Put a little water in here. And you said the proof on this was what? A 98 proof. 98 proof, 49%. I like that. Pin hook bourbon. Let's see what they have. Because I think they have a, a purple label and some other stuff. So it says the horse name is Hard Rye. Hard Rye Guy. Hard Rye Guy, and the horse size is 16.3 hands. Sounds Who, like a big horse. Whose hands? Shaq's. That's, that's a big-ass horse. So they have Bourbon Heist, which is their straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. I thought it was Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Their website says straight Kentucky. Whatever. Um, then they have a five-year rye, which is a black and white label. The bourbon's in a yellowish-orange label. Uh -huh. uh, a five-year bourbon that's in a gold label. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, yeah, so the purple label one that we'd seen is their high-proof bourbon from last year. Okay. So it looks like any given year they make about four All right. different whiskeys. If they're like that, I'd pick one up. Yeah. that's. I just honestly, I thought they were more expensive. I never really looked at it because I'm like, ah, I probably already have two or three things in my hands. Uh-huh. I mean, I just, I like the label. It's nice. It's it's inviting. It is. The rye is damn good. That's great. I haven't tried it with water yet. Mm. The nose, it just completely disintegrates the nose. Really? Water. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Just gone, right? Like, where did the fun go? Like somebody put saran wrap over the top of it. Mm, I'm, I'm getting it now. But the first one was just ethanol. Yeah. Well, I will say that water makes that better. On the palate? Yeah. Nose, I think it, it kills the nose, but on the palate, mm. it's thicker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. So where are you going grade-wise on that for <clears throat> I mean, a $37 rye? There's a lot in that. That's a crowded UPS truck. Oh, okay. Ha! Ah, it was UPS. Nice. Look Good guess. I thought maybe you saw it over the top. <laughs> yeah. of, I thought it was either that or somebody's like 87 Ford Ranger. Could be. A Rambler wagon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in that $37 rye range, we have Woodford. Elijah Craig's a little bit less expensive than I think that. it's 36 yeah. 35, 36. Um, You've got... I mean, we're doing this later, but this is 30. Russell's. Oh, yeah. The six-year. We did that recently. Got Russell's. Yeah, you've got the Sazerac. That's, what, 33, mm -hmm. 32, 33? Uh, I bet there's 10. Well, you got uh, even less than that. I'll say Wild Turkey 101, that, that rye. I still haven't had that yet. Have it. Yeah, we we'll, we'll fix that. Shoot, I should have brought it today. We could have had it. We have enough. Shoot. Okay, we're we'll still two bottles in a bag underneath yeah. the table. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I'm torn. Ninety one, ninety two. Oh wow, that's high. I think this is really tasty. I, I think I lean towards ninety one. I started ninety two, and I was like, it's not that good, but I just like that it is different from those other ryes. I feel like it has a little bit more rye in it. A lot of the ones out of Kentucky, I feel like they have just fifty one percent. Just yeah, just squeaking by. Yeah. Yeah. And this, the profile on it's just different, and I like that a lot. Well, that's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm an 88. Okay. I think it's perfectly good. I think if it was more expensive, my grade would be lower. Mm -hmm. For the money, I just, it'd be nice <clears throat> if it was more readily available. Yes. But I think it's a solid 88. Okay. I'd buy it uh, if I now if I see it, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Like, I, now I want the other ones. And it's, the, the other ones may be more expensive, especially the ones that have a little more age or you know, barrel strength, that kind of thing. But As to be expected. Yes. Yeah, see. Thank you, Buzz Killington. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, darn good stuff. If you see a bottle of Pinhook, pick it up. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, I, I'd be curious. I wish I could go back and taste some of the old ones. Maybe I can find another off-the-beaten-path store and pick up some old stuff. But You mean Podunk Eastern North Carolina store. 
<laughs> you act like you're from there, and I'm and I'm hating on your hometown. No, I'm from the big city. Oh, okay. the big city of Raleigh. Mm. <laughs> In town. Yes. Well, friends, we're gonna move on to the next episode. Until next time, pour something good in your glass. Yep. Maybe one of these. Maybe something new that you got. Let us know what you're drinking. Tell us, tell us about it. Yeah. See you then. Cheers. Cheers.